There's literally a kid riding around on a bike. I guess that's a bike. Great, well today we are in Frederick, Maryland and we are sitting outside the Goodwill. Uh, we're gonna head in here and we're gonna see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. I don't know how long I'm gonna last, but I'm gonna try. Ooh, I like the looks of that. That's kind of cool looking. <laughs> They're doing karate on it. All right. Well, they just filled out a fresh cart. We're gonna go creep it. Pier one. Thought that was gonna be cooler than pier one. That's kind of neat. Mm, a little bit of creeping. It's very loud in here today. It looks like there's an Andrea by Sadek monkey there. That's really pretty. Dichroic glass. I see I've been loading up my cart here, pulling stuff out of the cart very carefully so that not to break anything. I like the looks of those mugs. I'm gonna try to get a peek at those. There we go. These are kind of pretty. There's Robinson Ramsbottom and company. Let's see if I can go look at that. Maybe. There we go. Let's see the other side. It's kind of plain. It does have the RRP and company there on the bottom of Ohio. So it is Remington Rams Bottom. Set it back there carefully. And, um,. Gosh, they're rolling out another cart. It's crazy in here today. These are fun. <laughs> Decorative glasses. There's a jack in there too. I think that's for like a glass ball or something you put. I've had that before. Anyway, I think that's it. Except for that crazy looking bunny. I don't know if I'm brave enough to try to get the bunny out. <laughs> So I'm just gonna keep going. I got a few cool things out of there. Um, this is neat. That is. That reminds me of a Pure One pattern. Oh, this is cool looking. I like the pattern on that. It does have a sticker on the bottom, but it's all scratched off. Buck 49. Is this the only one? Looks like the only one on the shelves. I wish there was more. I really kind of like that. I mean, it's not my normal bright colors, but I mean, usually that's a little bit more my style, but I mean, maybe I'll stick it in there and maybe we'll put it back. Maybe we'll end up with it. I don't know. Let me show you what I grabbed off the cart. Um, this was really adorable. It's $2.49. I think it might be a souvenir. And you know what? I'm just realizing now that it's broken. Darn it. I thought it was just so sweet. I guess you don't really need all these little dangly things on it. Those could technically just come off. I just thought it was really sweet. Two children there. I think it's a souvenir of some sort. And I got the Andrew by Sadik um, pig. I was correct about that. I thought it was a monkey though. But you could see the Andrew by Sadik um, sticker on it. <laughs> Anatomically correct, but not as anatomically correct as some of the Haren pieces I've bought and sold. I'm not sure I'm going to pick that up. Um, sometimes they have some resale value, but it's not not crazy. This is made in China. You can actually see there on the bottom, made in China. But even the quality, even if it didn't have the sticker on the bottom, I'd pick that up and say that's made in China. And then this is fused glass, but it's dichroic glass. You can see the um, shininess of it. Three dollars and forty-nine cents on that. So. All right, let's see what else we can find now that we've um, <laughs> raided the cart. All right, let's see what these things are. Oh, those are Marshall. Oh, they're just decorative. Super shiny though. What are they? I'm so confused. Do they go together? Do they? I'm very confused by these. Not quite sure. That's obviously a frame. 
I'm still hoping, like, after realizing that stuff gets dispersed to various different Goodwills, I'm hoping I'm going to be looking in the clear section at some place other than Thermont. And I'm going to find the base to that fairy light. It's just going to be hanging out, and I'm going to be like, What? There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you! Because it, it's bound to happen, I feel like. Anyway, uh, I figured I'd look through the figurines and then I'd show you what else I collected here in my cart while I was grabbing stuff off of the fresh carts. Magenta. It was pretty exciting. Me? I was, I, was, I was going pretty quick though. I wasn't really filming. Look at these Care Bears. Oh boy. Ooh, it wasn't me. <laughs> These wolf. Last week it was cows. Oh, the cows are still here. Well, at least a few of them. A few cats, and this week it's some wolves and stuff. <laughs> Hi there. Corn pickers holders serving set. It's weird because they're blue. Usually you see these and they're yellow, right? Aloha, Hawaii. Alrighty. Tell you what, they are unloading those carts fast, so I would not be surprised if we found something else on the shelves. Patty Jolvo, Village Craft Shop, Colorado. Okay, the first time through here, I was <laughs> going pretty quickly because I was trying to get to the fresh cart. So. I didn't really get a chance to slow down and look at what they have. And I do like looking through the creamers and sugars. Ooh, what is this? It's not much, it's very lightweight. If I had to guess, I'd say probably Japan. Tivana. Fine porcelain. That looks like it could be old. Creamer, false graph. Hmm. Wow, loud. All right, this is pretty. New core. Shells are absolutely packed today. What is this? Is this Vera ceramic mug? The box looks like a Vera Bradley mug. I don't see anywhere on there. Oh, it's Lily Pulitzer. Hmm. $3.49. We'll stick that in there and check it out. Make sure that's what's in there and that it's in good condition when we get around the corner. Oh, wait a second. Oh, ooh. Let's go try to find the rest of it, shall we? There's some batik. Nice mid-century style artwork. Six dollars for nine cents. That would look neat in the booth. I don't know if my last boutique sold yet. Yes, I am going to show you what I have in my cart. Just I have to get over the fact that they're still restocking. And then, and then when we slow down, we'll go over the cart. I really want to find that fairy light. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it's over in the Christmas because it's kind of a Christmas color. But also, it's not over here. Darn it. What is that? Mm. Okay, please don't fall. <laughs> There's enough stuff falling all over the place here today. Thank goodness. That was so sweet. So, this was sitting over... Um, <laughs> The lady had a, a basket, just a regular, like, one of these baskets, and she had it um, over by the carts, and it was just sitting there, and I assumed that it was, you know, part of the stuff they had brought out. So I, w I went and grabbed it, she's like, that's my stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Well, she just brought this over to me and said I could have it. That was so sweet. That was, <laughs> it was really nice. So, oh, that was nice of her. It's one of those, um, Jingle ones. I think, I think it's a child's toy the way it jingles, but it could also be decorative. But I just thought it was beautiful. 
so that's why <laughs> it's really neat. Very sweet. I think that down there is supposed to look like the Curtis Jerry Jeer, Heart of Both Ways, uh, Tree of Life. I actually have one at the shop that is signed, and I think that's supposed to kind of resemble his work. I should say their work because it's two artists that um, combined their names and created Curtis. It's not one person, it's two. I kind of wonder if the rest of the fairy light is in here because it's the only place I haven't checked. This was the first cart that was rolled out that I totally didn't even look through. And I'm not seeing it in here though. Trinket dish. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> yep. See the rest of that fairy light though. Yeah, no problem. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's literally a kid riding around on a bike. I guess that's a bike. Things you see a good well. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna give up on the fairy light. I think I'm gonna put it back because I don't think I'm going to find it. It's kind of a bummer. I know I kept the. I mean, I kept the. I kept the lid for the one I found the other week. I'm just like, I don't think I'm as hopeful today as I was the other day. I was really feeling hopeful. Today I'm like, I've been circling for so long. I'm not feeling the hope. Feeling kind of hopeless, I guess. All right, so I'm doing one last browse of the plates and the mugs. And then we'll just go sit and check out what I've got in my cart. This is really quite nice. No markings on that. The handle looks to be cracked, though. Don't need anything with a cracked handle. I was hoping to find some more Le Creuset mugs because I've got two in my cart if you hadn't spotted them yet. But I don't think I'm going to have any luck finding any more. <laughs> I think I got kind of lucky. Snatch those right out of the fresh cart as quickly as I possibly could. Those are neat too. All right. These have an interesting design on them. Oh, they're Starbucks. Let's see two of them. I like those Starbucks mugs. What year are those? 2018 Starbucks. Here on the corner is a whole pile of Vintage USA planters. Pretty sure they're all Vintage USA. <laughs> all for $2.49. I'll grab those. Maybe. Yeah, I'll grab those. <laughs> the line up there is extremely long. So I'm kind of just walking around aimlessly at this point. Trying to, <laughs> trying to find stuff I missed and um, I just also don't want to be standing in line doing nothing, so I figured, why not shop? But they're definitely not really restocking anymore, so honestly, I'm pretty much just walking around aimlessly looking at stuff that's been here a while. <laughs> Dollars and 49 cents. That was up there on the top of this cart. See? We're actually finding stuff now that we're searching for it. <laughs> I am going to start putting some of this stuff back though because I think some of it's not going to make the cut. The weirdo bunny I was looking at earlier. $9.49. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's not really worth it. This patriotic guy. $29.99 for a chalkware lamp. Alright, since the line is still super long, I'm going to plop myself down in this questionable office chair. A little bit of staining there. Um, and I'm going to show you what I got. <laughs> so, I pulled these off of the cart here. These are the Le Creuset mugs. They do have lots of scratches in there, but um, you guys told me once that that's just like contact from the metal spoons and that could be removed. So as long as we don't have any cracks and there's just scratching, I think I could pay that and still make money on them. 
And I'm willing to pay up on something if I can still make money on it. I'm not opposed to it. This thing is the best, and I wish that I, <laughs> I wish I had been filming when I grabbed that out of the cart, but it was just like kind of like a mad, a mad grab thing. And the best part about this is there's money inside. <laughs> I don't know how to get the money out. I don't know if you can get the money out. So I think like maybe stick a um, knife in there and try to um, slide the money out possibly. But I just thought that was adorable. I'm a little confused. Is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> maybe the 249 fell off of something else. I don't know. I'm a little confused by the stickering happening there, but. Um, $2.49 on this, and as I mentioned, that really nice lady handed me that. Um, this Lily Pulitzer, 12 ounces. I looked this up. I don't think this is worth grabbing. I think it sells for 12 to 18. I think there's a little bit of money to be made there, but I don't think it's enough. There, there are sets of two that sell for a 12 to 18. So let's even make sure it's still in there. Could be something else entirely. Nope, it's in there. It's actually still in the original packaging and um, plastic and everything, but I think I'm gonna put that back. I think I'm gonna put back the black bowl. There's no point in having one. Um, I've got the planters. Um, I ran into a friend who has a booth at Boonesboro and she had this and she offered it to me. She said she was gonna put it back on the shelf and I thought that was kind of neat. It's for sake. I'm kind of on the fence on it. I just think it's a nice stoneware piece. I might put it back. This, I think I'm like, <laughs> I might put it back. I was really hopeful that I would find the rest of it, but I don't know. This one may end up back, just because it's broken. I don't think it's worth grabbing. I mean, yeah, you could take the little dangly things off, but it's for souvenir. Um, the fish thing, how much is it? $4.49. Uh, I don't know, it's made in China, but I could still make some money on that. This is really cool. Um, the Andrea Rice Sadek. It's two forty nine. I'm gonna put that back. I don't normally pick up the Andrea by Sadek's. I don't know why. I just it's it's a personal preference. I know there can be some value there. Um, I think that's it. I think that's really it for the cart. And I'm gonna go see how long the line is after I put these things back. The few items that I'm not interested in. And uh, I guess I'll get back to you in the car with the total. I know I already did the review on the cart, but then I came across these. And these have some age to them. Look, I think that's McCoy, right? I think. I think those are McCoy. Ooh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> it's the end of the day. I don't even think I'm gonna go to the next schedule. I think, I think this is it for me. Um, about 50 each. And I think we got another one hiding over here. They were originally five cents each. Six. Six cups. We'll go grab those. Right! My total spend today was $63. And I feel like I got some really great right stuff today. I mean, it was overwhelming when I walked in. And there were three, not just one fresh cart, three carts just sitting there. And it was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> And I was like in such a like such a oh my gosh got to get to the fresh carts that I wasn't even rolling my camera I mean I was for a minute and then it was like Must grab all the treasures And I feel like I got some pretty, uh, my, my favorite thing that I found today was that mushroom bank and it has coins in it Pretty sure they're gold coins. I can't confirm that but I'm pretty certain That it's full of gold coins. So that was my best find of the day <sighs> I'll show it to Andrew. He'll be like, oh, look, he's popped the coins out like this. You know, you know, Andrew. Um, but anyway, I'm going to head home now. I'm done for the day. I'm heading home. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.